This is one of the most stunning views in all of racing, the stunning Ascot Racecourse, which is our home today here on ITV Racing, and it is arguably the most famous racecourse in the world. Now, it's a nice morning, but it's a little bit chilly, so let's go inside and meet the team. They've made me walk down these rather steep stairs, but I have successfully managed it, and thankfully... I won't be appearing on It'll Be All Right on the Night anytime soon. Here is Dan. Good morning to Dan. Morning. Morning to Ken, who's here ready and waiting. Morning, and helping me guide you through the action is the editor of the Racing Post, Bruce Millington, and also my regular partner in crime, Luke Harvey. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the opening show. Good morning, everyone. It's, it's good to see you, Luke, Luke and Bruce. Thanks for, thanks for joining us here on the opening show, Bruce. Um, good day's racing, and we're actually a few weeks away from, from Cheltenham. As editor of the Racing Post, how busy and exciting a time of year is it for you and the guys in the office? Definitely the most busy, definitely the most exciting as well. I mean, uh, the four biggest selling editions of the Racing Post are the four days of Cheltenham, but thankfully, you know, Racing Post is staffed by absolute racing nuts, and they're all extremely excited and up for it. But in four weeks' time, it's all over, isn't it? We're trying to find one at Utoxeter to get all our losses back. We will be there at Utoxeter as well. I'm sure that the racing nuts in the Racing Post office are excited about today's racing. What can we look forward to, Luke? Well, it's got something for everyone, doesn't it? We've got, obviously, Q card here at, uh, at Ascot. We've got Yamworth putting his uh, champion hurdle credentials on the line, and hopefully Black Line, perhaps, in the Grand National Trial at Haydock as we, well. We were just having a discussion, actually, before we, we, ca we came on. Do you think Q card's the most popular horse in training, Bruce? I think he probably is, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think there's much doubt about it now. I mean, you look at what he's done. He's, he's, this is his 35th race. Apart from that bumper at Fontwell, they've pretty much all been at the top level. He gives <laughs> his all every single time. I mean, he's, he's just he's a fantastic horse. He really, really is. How he gets on today remains to be seen. He's 11 now, but, you know, I, th I don't think there's any doubt his popularity. Well, not just great racing from here at Asker. We've also got quality action at not one, not two, but three race courses for you today.